Hello, my friend. This is a um, lecture on how lifestyle and preventive care can affect or prevent COVID-19 or what are the effects of uh, preventive care and lifestyle um, on the person that might have the disease or on the person that uh, is at risk of the disease. How lifestyle prophylaxis is better than drug prophylaxis? Prophylaxis means uh, prevention or doing something to not get the disease. Many people today are resorting to medications to prevent the SARS-CoV-19. SARS However, all medications have side effects, so it does not seem to me the best idea to use medications that might, some of them might be immune suppressant, like the, like the hydroxychloroquine that uh, was used for a while for, uh, for the treatment of uh, corona, uh, corona, coronavirus and COVID-19, but uh, even for treatment is not a, when is not a good option according to the recent studies. But uh, this is not my issue. My issue is that this drug is an immune suppressant drug. So maybe you are using something like that as a prophylactic uh, uh, way is not a, the best idea. And also you can cooperate uh, or might cooperate using this kind of drugs to a virus resistance. And then when you have uh, um, the disease and the disease requires a treatment, the treatment might not work because the virus is already resistant to that, resistant to, to that type of medication. Lifestyle modification. Why, what is the best way then to prepare yourself against the COVID-19 infection? Is there a way that increase your prophylaxis, your prevention, your methods of, uh, of increasing your immune system against this disease. And then I list 10, uh, the 10 commandments of uh, prophylaxis against COVID. The immune system, the comorbidities, the stress management, sanitation and precautions, social distance, but not, not social, uh, total social distance uh, and keep social connections nature, temperance, herbals, circulation, and then spirituality. And I will go over those uh, slide by slide. First is the immune system. How can the lifestyle affect uh, the immune system? Today we know that a balanced diet, or, or meaning that uh, a diet that contains uh, all the food groups, fruit, vegetables, uh, carbohydrates, uh, and proteins, and also the micro uh, nutrients that uh, that those foods provide uh, improve the immune system. On the other hand, diets that are lacking in vitamins and lacking in minerals or malnourishment would affect the immune system and uh, increase the risk of infections. Fruits and veggies should be 50% of each of your meal. And especially now the berries that are rich in antioxidants that are substances that are anti-inflammatory and that uh, affect or uh, activate the immune system. Avoid fats, mostly saturated fats. The healthy fats like avocado, like avocado um, nuts, um, they are good and then avoid sugar and sugary foods. So it looks like too much sugar will affect negatively the function of the lymphocytes or the white blood, white blood cells. Um, avoid overeating, avoid fasting for long periods, um, avoid fed and crushed diets. Now is not a time to, to, to go on a diet, a mostly prolonged diet. So, and especially if you use a diet that is skip a whole group of foods, 
like the ketogenic diets or, or a low carb diets that um, take the carbohydrates all away and that's not a good idea uh, i would say it's not a good idea in general for health but it's not a good idea especially during this time that we need a functional immune system and then if you do exercise you do a, a moderate exercise so this is an example of things but um, i will go over other aspects of the lifestyle uh, like sleeping well um, doing uh, uh, drinking enough water um, have a proper way to control stress and all of this that i, I will address this individually in the other slides so if we talk about the comorbidities, we know that COVID-19 um, affect more people or is more risky to people that have diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, obesity. They have what they call comorbidities. And then all of these things that I mentioned for the immune system, a balanced diet, use more fruits and vegetables, avoid fats, avoid sugar, avoid overeating, avoid, avoid fast, avoid uh, uh, fed and crushed diets, and do not skip food groups and do exercise, drink water, control your stress, rest appropriately. So all of these will affect the control of those diseases and in some cases can even reverse those diseases and those are important to um, when, when a person is affected by by a virus will uh, protect the person the, the, the immune system will be stronger but when the person is by any chance affected those factors uh, in the control of those diseases is important then the stress management well, today we know that um, if a person is under a stress influence um, the immune system will be depressed or suppressed mostly because stress um, increases the secretion of uh, cortisol and cortisol block the effects of the immune system so how to counteract with that have more relaxing activities no matter what is causing stress is an issue that we could have a whole lecture on that and a whole seminar on that but um, no matter what is that is causing stress people need to have relaxing activities and i put a list of those here for you to choose for you to be aware that you need some of this in your life music humor meditation nature exercise hobbies something that detour your life that distract you that uh, gives you a little bit of uh, relaxation a, li a little bit of fun a little bit of uh, of a calming effect so this is important now important now sanitation precautions is important that um, lifestyle it, it does not exclude uh, the measures for the prevention of infectious disease many people think well uh, uh, if i am uh, doing whatever i can with my diet my exercise my rest i don't need to be aware or be careful about uh, masks and social distance no that's wrong lifestyle includes also avoiding people that are sick uh, maintain a social distance use your mask use your hand sanitizers use uh, wash your hands frequently do not touch your uh, face uh, eyes uh, and nose and mouth with your hands that this is very basic and we think that this is also lifestyle this is also preventive care and then clean the environment use bleach use lysol whatever not to drinking okay not to eating because this is poisonous but uh, for the environment indoor and outdoor promote clean uh, cleanliness pro pro promote uh, sanitation and then clean your foods well and use clean foods and when i mention about clean foods is a diet more uh, vegeta vegetarian you know that diets that are not vegetarian uh, they have the potential to transmit more bacteria and virus to us by the way there is um, a theory that um, that this 
COVID-19 started with um, um, bats in, in China. They kind of are discussing this, if this is right or not. But I know that the SARS, the first SARS um, the, that uh, was uh, that happened in 2003 or 2004, I was in Hong Kong when it started, and it started with animals that they were eating, um, uh, wild animals like uh, civet cats that was of the family of the raccoon. And they were eating those things and they were selling those things in the market. And this was, um, at least they, they uh, figured out that this was the origin of the first coronavirus. And now they are, they are, uh, um, uh, they are making the, the, the um, uh, bats as, as uh, the culprit. Um, you might say, but uh, do they eat uh, bats in China? Yes, they eat. So, but in any case, we promote it. I believe if we were vegetarian, we would not be in this mess if everyone was vegetarian. But this is my, it's my opinion. Use of water, drink a lot of water. Still the six to eight cups of, of water per day is a valid measure uh, and at least a minimal value. Measure and then uh, use water outside, and that's what we are going to go in the next slide. Water outside or hydrotherapy, it, it can be just a shower, just a daily shower. And then, if you can have a warm shower finish with cold, this will also activate the mobility of the immune cells, the white blood cells. Um, if you have any symptoms of, uh, of cold or flu or whatever, or COVID-19, it doesn't matter. Uh, it looks like in the first week you can have uh, COVID-19 without symptoms, so you don't know. But when the symptom starts, you can um, use those things. I mean, vaporization, fomentation in the chest, drink more warm teas like chamomile, peppermint, mint, oregano and then do gargles with salt, powder, charcoal, and lemon. All of these are helping uh, your throat and, and can somehow have an effect to, to eliminate this virus uh, um, if possible, but uh, eliminate inflammation and increase the active, uh, activity of the immune system. So uh, those are good no matter what you have. It's not specific for COVID-19, but we promote this for uh, all respiratory um, uh, infections and, 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 and colds. Well, we promote social distance, but not, uh, not social disconnection. So we know that it's important to have friends. So keep your social media on, keep your family close. Um, there is no need to use masks at home if your family is with you and then uh, all of them are, are uh, secluded with you. Uh, if one member is out, so this member might be in need to, to be isolated for a while or use masks uh, or, or do all the clinic procedures uh, if, if a person is uh, at risk. But uh, it's important to have uh, friends and family because isolation will lead to depression, isolation will suppress the immune system. So now is the time to focus on the family and to help other people, your neighbors, your family, relatives that might be in need of some help now. Now is the time to do that and this will, uh, according to some uh, studies, this will also activate the immune system. This will also activate the immune system. Now, nature. Look for environments that are natural. There is a term that is called forest bath. That means just go and walk in the forest or stay in the forest camping for a whole night or for a few days. This will, according to a study done in Japan, and this is confirmed by other studies, will activate some uh, cytokines or substance in your uh, blood 
that uh, that to activate the immune system so uh, and these activations sometimes uh, stays in uh, active i mean maintain your immune system active for a few days so it's important to do that and we know uh, there are some um, studies that aromatherapy like with eucalyptus and pine trees and other uh, trees um, uh, essential oils uh, will produce um, will produce an, an, a positive effect in the immune system and a positive effect in health also when you go to nature you have more pure air uh, you expose yourself to the sun you do exercise you you drink more water so this is important and the fact that you are in a place that is um, uh, with a low oxygen pressure, you're, you will increase your lung capacity. And then when you need um, more, um, when you are in a pressure to survive with low exercise, with low pressure of uh, oxygen or low amount of oxygen, that happened with uh, uh, extreme cases of COVID-19, because it looks like there is a congestion in the lungs and then the lungs cannot do the function appropriately and, and cannot oxygenate very well the blood. And then what happens is that if you are exercised, if you are exercising in the mountains and if you have a, an increased lung capacity, you can handle um, a, long, a longer time with, uh, with low oxygen uh, in your lungs. And then also uh, nature provides a way to control your stress, to manage your stress, as we mentioned before. Temperance. Um, there is some studies that uh, one dose of alcohol can suppress the activity of the uh, white blood cells for one whole day. 24 hours just one dose of alcohol that would be a cup of wine or a, a small cup of uh, liquor and a, and one can of beer it can suppress the immune system marijuana also suppresses the immune system smoking suppresses the uh, the immune system too and um, any smoke in the lungs will affect the lung function and immunity so now is not a time to put uh, to put uh, smoke in our lungs, whatever it is, uh, because this will affect your uh, lung function. And then if you have a virus that also depends on this lung function, you are more in trouble. So now is the time to stop addictions. And then to stop addictions, I always. Uh, uh, dividing three types of support that the person needs professional support medication uh, psychotherapy psychological counseling or things like that um, social support a group of friends a, a group a dynamic group like the alcoholic anonymous this is a social support and then spiritual support um, uh, read the bible and go to church and have a uh, a spiritual life uh, and have a spiritual um, meaning, uh, meaningful um, uh, life and, and religion and all of those things. Then number eight, medicinal herbs. There are some herbs that activate the immune system. I put a list of them that came to my mind now, but uh, the list is interminable. There is a lot of other things that can affect your immune system positively i put here lemongrass peppermint ginger garlic and onions turmeric echinacea fresh teas uh, you can use fresh these uh, herbs if you have these extract pills or or whatever you can um, find where do you have these uh, herbs i um, especially i have um, uh, one habit when i get a sore throat I bought the echinacea extract. There is a non-alcohol extract of echinacea, and I drop a few drops of, uh, of echinacea extract in, um, below my, uh, my tongue, and then I do that two or three or four times a day. And in general, this increases the local uh, antivirus and antibacteria effect, and um, it has helped. 
I don't have a clinical trial. This is just an observation and a practice, but we know uh, scientifically that echinacea increase the activity of uh, the immune immunoglobulins and, and the white blood cells. Circulation, keep your feet and your knees warm. Of course, if we are in a weather that is uh, hot, you don't have a problem. But once you get sick, sometimes your feet and your hands and your knees are cold. And this is not good for the body and for the immune system cells to uh, function properly. So you need to have your extremities warm. We advise the foot baths. By the way, foot baths, uh, we, we mentioned about uh, hydrotherapy, about uh, uh, doing vaporization and fermentation. Another thing that we can do is a foot bath. And then use your socks and shoes. So keep track of your uh, extremities and don't let them. Sometimes people put a lot of, uh, of uh, coats and clothes on the trunk. And they forgot and they forget the extremities. This is very important to maintain a proper circulation. Uh, or do a brisk walk that will um, increase the circulation and increase the, um, the circulation in general and in the extremities. And the last one is prayer. Prayer is very important because prayer is your intrinsic communication with the Lord. Um, there is in, in, in science a study about those two types uh, of uh, spirituality, intrinsic and extrinsic. And sometimes the extrinsic uh, the spirituality that uh, is similar to extrinsic religion is just an appearance of, uh, of uh, religion, but uh, inside the person is not with the Lord inside that the person is not praying to the Lord, the inside the person is not uh, really into the spiritual um, uh, connection with, with the Lord. So that's why Jesus Christ mentioned that the true prayer is not the prayer that you do in the middle of um, a bunch of people uh, in public, but the prayer that you do in your room isolated that you talk to your Lord individually. That's the true prayer. Other aspects of, uh, of prayer or spirituality that are important uh, for the immune system is forgiveness, helping other people, and the hope, uh, and, and especially hope in eternal life. So those are connected to uh, well-being and connected to less risk of diseases in some research. But uh, of course, they are um, more related to a, also to a good uh, immune system. I will finish with I will finish with this verse: Do not fear. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand, with my righteous right hand. So I believe uh, this is the message that we have uh, for you. I believe that the best thing you can do to prevent your COVID-19 uh, infection is a good um, lifestyle, is to change your lifestyle following the recommendations that we give and other people are giving and, uh, and, and put your life in God's hands and you will be okay. Thank you. and. I'll see you in another lecture. Bye-bye.